What advice do you have for teachers? The best advice I can give to teachers about teaching vocabulary is to first familiarize yourself with all the aspects of word knowledge beyond basic meaning that are important for accurate and appropriate use. I'm talking about things like collocation, words co-occurring with other words. For example, in English we say take medicine instead of eat medicine, which would be the more likely translation in many languages. So knowing what a word means also includes knowing what other words typically go together with that word. Another aspect of word meaning is register. Register has to do with the typical contexts, the social contexts, the usage contexts of particular words. For example, we have two words, friendly and gregarious, which are very similar in meaning, but they're used in different contexts. We can use the word friendly to describe someone in casual conversation. But the word gregarious is more formal and more common in written English, so it might sound weird to use it in casual conversation. And that's related to another aspect of word knowledge, the spoken and written forms. In other words, how a word is spelled and how it's pronounced. All of these things are important for students to be aware of because they help us to use words the right way. Most students still think vocabulary learning means learning the meanings of words, so they neglect these other aspects of word knowledge. As a teacher, if you can first make sure your students are aware of these other aspects of word knowledge, what they are and why they matter, that's a big part of it. The teacher can also help by consistently and frequently pointing out these other aspects of word knowledge when introducing new vocabulary in class. When we plan our teaching of vocabulary, we should try to anticipate what students may find challenging about a word in terms of usage and teach to that. For example, if you're teaching the word medicine to a group of beginners and you know in their native language they say the equivalent of eat medicine, you can head off potential errors by pointing out that in English we say take medicine instead to mean the same thing. I think that kind of awareness raising and that kind of targeted teaching is one of the best ways that teachers can help their students come to grips with the vocabulary of English. One of the most important things that Professor Rinaldi pointed out is that there is more to vocabulary than word meaning. We saw some of the dimensions of word knowledge with the examples of the word prototype used in different contexts in the corpus. There are many other ways that teachers can help students learn vocabulary. Some ideas are included in the four articles from the forum that are in the Module 2 Resource Corner. One article describes the use of Voice of America Special English to improve advanced learners' use of high-frequency vocabulary. A second provides helpful tips and practices for including simple English Wikipedia on the internet for vocabulary learning, especially at the beginner and intermediate levels. Both of those resources teach vocabulary use in context. The other two describe how teachers and learners can focus on learning more about individual words that are of interest. One describes the use of images to explore word meaning. The other is about the rich information students can find in online dictionaries. Both of these articles show how students can gain an understanding of the dimensions of word knowledge by doing their own word research. In the next video, we'll look at more ways that students are using technology for vocabulary learning.